Heineken. Yeah, so Passion for Beer is a program that uh, Heineken USA put in place uh, about a year ago uh, to train our own people on, uh, you know, the, the beer knowledge, beer IQ, not of only uh, our products, but also beer in general. So we brought that to life here in Nightclub and Bar, this Passion for Beer program, and we train around three fundamentals. One is around brewing and ingredients, one is around tasting and describing, and the third one, and most what you'll see here today, is uh, pouring and serving, and that has to do with draft beer. Uh, so we've got our master pourer, a gentleman from uh, Holland, actually, is in town. His name is Frank Avers. And he is a, a guy who travels all over the world to train bartenders on a, how to properly serve and pour a Heineken draft. So uh, we hope that, like all the other attendees, you can join us uh, and take your, uh, try your hand at pouring a, a Heineken draft beer with Frank to, there to teach you. Hi, my name is Frank Evers. I'm from the Netherlands, the home of Heineken. And my job is to teach bar staff all over the world in how to treat this beautiful beer the best possible way. Only four simple steps. Take a glass and give it a good rinse. Make sure it's clean and cold. Keep it upside down because you want to lose the rest of the water in the glass. Walk to the tap. Angle the glass in a 45 degree angle. Open it fast. Let it roll in and a little bit of head develop. And when you're finished, skim with a wet skimmer under an angle of 45 degrees. And now you get a head that settles pretty nice. Take a coaster. Put it on the coaster and say, enjoy your Heineken. Only four simple steps to perfection. It's not that difficult. And I re really appreciate the fact that you are going to do this from now on, okay? So Newcastle Founders Ale is uh, one of our seasonal brands too, with the, within the Newcastle portfolio. So it's a it's a, it's a more like a, a slightly drier hopped uh, pale ale style. Uh, still with some fruity, a little bit caramel malts to it. Uh, very refreshing towards the end, uh, the aftertaste, well balanced, uh, like a pale ale style. So very excited about uh, the seasonal line that we have that we brought out with Founders Ale, uh, summer followed with Summer Ale, the Werewolf, and then uh, towards the end the winter, uh, uh, the winter IPA. So pretty excited about it. Characteristics, the characteristics more precise on, on a Founders Ale, uh, amber colored, uh, lightly amber colored, a little bit uh, uh, smooth uh, caramel malt flavor to it, which will help uh, accent and a little bit dry, a little drier hops, uh, more balanced on the hop side uh, for a founder's ale. So, with your permission, I would uh, I wouldn't mind taking a little sip and do a little bit quality control of it. See, it's very light. I mean, medium bodied style, uh, a little dry hop bitterness to it. So, pretty good, very good. This, this is our line extension of, on, from the Amstel brand, which is the Amstel wheat. An Amstel wheat that's by nature, if you pour it, it contains in the grain bill 50% or plus of, of natural wheat. That creates the protein and makes it uh, hazy, right? So the cloudiness is then achieved by uh, uh, using the wheat. In our case, with Amstel wheat, we have, it's kind of in the middle of what a Hefe, German Hefeweizen beer is, that those Characteristics are that it's pronounced uh, clovey, banana-like flavor, aroma, and flavor. And then on a Belgium-style wheat beer, uh, they use urban spices. But with Amstel wheat, we don't use any urban spices, so it's very soft on the palate. Right? It's a good combination, a good malty, weedy flavor to it, uh, malt, touch mouthfeel to it, uh, low, low, low to medium bitterness, very smooth at the end. Uh, very refreshing, very refreshing wheat beer. <laughs> well, 
Well, I'd just say, you know, obviously thanks for your business. Uh, we hope that you keep enjoying Heineken responsibly. And, uh, you know, Dos Equis, Newcastle, Tecate, we've got a wonderful portfolio. And we'd love for everybody to keep supporting our brands. And uh, we appreciate your business.